Hi, I'm John McQuist and welcome to this video tutorial for Canon's Digital Photo Professional 4 software. This is another in a series of videos that will show you how to use DPP4 and the EOS Utility 3. We did one that gave you a tour of the interface. Here, I'll show you how to organize the photos you shot with your Canon camera. Whichever way you do it, when you connect your memory card to your computer, either from your camera or as I'll do it from a card reader, it will show up in my computer on a PC or here on a Mac, right on your desktop. I like to copy the images from the card onto my computer. First of all, it creates a backup. And secondly, it helps me organize because I can rename the folder to include the date and a title for the shoot. Now I can find the images when I open the Canon Digital Photo Professional 4 software. I go to folders, dig down, find the one that has the images I want, and the thumbnails appear in the main panel on the screen. If I know I'm going to use this folder again, and I don't want to go through the effort of digging through my computer to find it, I can bookmark it by right-clicking on the folder and going down and selecting Bookmark. Now if I go to the Bookmark tab, I see the folder right there. You can always right-click on a folder and remove the bookmark. This won't get rid of the folder, just the bookmark you made for it. So when you go back over here, you find that folder again, they're still there. Another way to make it easier to find images on your computer is to create collections. What this essentially does is create links to files so that you can put images or movies from a bunch of different places together in one collection without having to take up more storage space on your computer by having to make copies of the images. So if I'm scrolling through and say I decide I want to put all my bird pictures together. Scroll down here, I know I've got some bird pictures I took at the zoo this day. Ah, here we go, some birds. These are lorikeets, by the way, Australian bird. So we'll go through and there you go, there's my bird pictures. So we'll select those, we'll add a collection here, call it birds, and now we just drag and drop, and now that folder has 59 birds in it, or bird pictures. If I go to another folder that might have some birds in it, ah, here they are, we can select those, add that to our bird folder, and there we go there are all of my bird pictures together in one little collection. Now, just as with bookmarks, you can right click on a collection and delete it. This will not delete the images you have in the collection, just the links to them that you made by creating that collection. If you want to delete an image, we would go back here to our images, right click on one, scroll down, to move to trash, or hold down command control and hit the backspace key. Either one will do that. Canon Digital Photo Professional 4 has some cool tools that will help you sort and organize photos within a folder. The first is the check numbers. Say you went to a zoo and took a bunch of photos of different animals, but for now you just want to deal with the orangutan photos. You can select all the orangutan photos and put a check one, scroll down, you see, oh, I took more orangutan photos. Add a check one to those. And, oh look, still more orangutan photos. So we'll select those, give them as a check one. Now, if we turn our filter on, and then make sure we only have ones that have check marks, now we just see the photos of orangutans. If we turn the filter off again, and all the images show up again, what we can do is we could scroll down and say we wanted to have the bird pictures show up, at least from this shoot. So we go down and there we go, our bird pictures again. Check two. If we turn our filter on again, the check ones all together at the top are the orangutans, and the check twos are the birds beneath them. And the same thing works with check threes and check fours. So they will sort out for you like that. And that's what the check numbers do for you. You can rate images from one to five stars. If you like this one, you can 
rate that five stars. If you go into Quick Check, you can not only decide whether to give it a check number or a rating, you can knock it down to three stars, take all of its stars away. You can even decide to brand it a reject. This won't delete the image. It will just tell anyone else who happens to open it in the software that it might not be a keeper. That's a look at how you can use Canon Digital Photo Professional 4 software to organize your photos. Thanks for watching.